Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to bring to you Desi and Katie's Dose of Color collab. I'm super excited, I got my hands on the eyeshadow palette and on the lipsticks and on the highlighters. So here we go. Now, we're gonna start off by eyes. Um, I already primed my eyes using the Milani Retouch Erase Light Lifting Concealer in Honey. We're gonna start off with these two colors right here. This is Soft Brown and Brown Script. Soft brown is gonna be the first color I'm gonna use. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush and I'm gonna use that color right above and a little bit in my crease. You're gonna see that I'm gonna just buff it right there, as you can see. Um, also, I have my foundation on. This is my Kevin Aquan Skin Illuminating Foundation and my brows are slightly filled in using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. Now, we're gonna use brown script, as you can see here. We're gonna use that same fluffy brush and I'm gonna lightly use this color because this color is very pigmented I'm not trying to get too crazy I love this color for transition especially for bronzy looks I think it looks super nice on my complexion and I'm gonna slowly just buff it in and nicely and softly yay now for the start of the show we're gonna go in with Noli right yeah, this is Noli right yeah this is Noli um, I'm gonna take this MAC 242 brush, it's a flat brush, and I'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of Fix Plus just to kind of give me more of that gold um, reflex that it has inside. I'm sorry for the shaky scene, guys, because I'm gonna shut past it. Now, we're gonna go in with Zeus. Zeus? Zeus? Yeah. I love the fact that they named all the eyeshadows after their dogs. I think it's super cute. So, we're gonna take Zeus, and I'm gonna take this pencil brush from Morphe, and I'm gonna just pop those right in the inner part of my eye. All right, so for wing liner, we're gonna use this NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I know I'm not using my NYC Liquid Liner, I couldn't find it. I'm trying to find a new eyeliner, guys, cause um, you know, they're discontinuing, discontinuing the NYC Liquid Liner. So I'm trying to see if I can find one just as good. This one works actually just as good. I'm super excited about it. Now that we're done with eyeliner, we're going to hit our lashes with some of this MAC Extended Giga Plate Mascara, just a little bit, and these lashes. These are drugstore lashes, these are Kiss lashes. Uh, I believe this is part of their Glam um, collection, something like that. Yeah, these these lashes are called Gala, and they are super pretty and super wearable, and I've used them like twice already, and they're still in good condition. Um, I'm using the Velour um, Tweezer, Eyelash Tweezer. tweezer. Yeah, I'm all for drugstore mascara. I'm starting to realize that I like those a little bit more than the high-end brands because they are, just, look, they look just as good. Now, my face. Like I said, my face is already done. I'm going to use this Kim K contouring, cream contouring um, stick. I'm going to use, a, I have it in dark. I'm going to use a light shade first just to kind of outline where I'm going to put the dark. Here we go. Now here, I'm going to put the darker color right above of it, right above it or on it. And I'm gonna take a booty blender and I'm gonna blend it all out as you can see if you guys are wondering um, what shade my um, foundation is I believe it's 114 again it's from no it's 14 from it's Kevin Aquan is in deep now for under eyes we're gonna use again the Milani retouch erase right yeah retouch erase um, concealer in the color honey this color is a little a, a tad bit too light but it does blend out very quickly it kind of melts into my skin I'm all for that bright under eye because I have pretty dark under eyes because of my dark circles which I should have color corrected before I did this but it wasn't for it I'm gonna take this little small Sephora uh, beauty sponge and I'm gonna blend it all out now to set that contour I'm gonna use this caramel toffee from Wet n Wild this shade right here I'm gonna take this bare minerals powder brush. I've had this brush for a very long time and I forgot how good it was. Can we talk about how nicely this, pl this was placed on my face? Yeah, all for it guys. Now to set my under eyes, I'm going to use this Besame Translucent Powder in the color Vanilla Latte. I like this powder because it reminds me a lot of the dark shade from Laura Mercier and Laura Mercier is expensive and I don't got one. Now for blush, I'm going to use this color Tea Rose from Milani. This is my currently my favorite blush. I've been using it nonstop. It's super pretty, super nice. Now for highlight. I actually got my hands on both highlights. I got Mirame and Fuego. I just use both. Yeah, I'm, I'm that girl. I use both. Um, I use this Morphe highlighting brush. 
can we talk about the highlights yes mommy um my under eye i use again brown script and soft brown just to smoke it out a little bit dude that highlight was bomb like i love the way it came out now to set my face i'm going to use this mac um fix ch uh, charge fix um spray i'm sorry it didn't come out right but yeah i'm going to set my face a little bit because i felt a little powdery and for lips i got savage and Huff. Was it Huff Fire? No. I forgot what it's called. But yeah, that red color. I don't have lipstick in front of me. But um, yeah, I already used Savage, so I wanted to use this color by Kia, and I love it. My reaction at first was kind of like, bam, it's too much. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I love the way this look came out, and thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like my video and comment down below. And I will see you next time. Bye.